there's a mama and a baby there. I think the mom heard us. She's going down now. Yeah, I don't like the vibrations on the helicopter. Nice look back at the coast there. Have you seen these Oh, there's more? Oh, is that the same one? Not there. That's a different one there. With the rolling water, there's a few more out there, huh? Probably just arrived, so they're gonna probably take a break now. All that traveling they just just did. We stand together We are forever, forever living love. Let the mountain rumble, let the ocean, let the wind come calling. I will be there for you. I will be there for you. This area here my right side. All those waves crashing on the reef, that's a famous surf spot, it's known as Tunnels. Featured in a movie recently called The Soul Surfer, it's a true life story of a little girl named Bethany Hamilton. She gets her arm bit off by the shark, that's where the shark attack took place, in real life. And this island actually gets one shark attack every three weeks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there, was a, there was a shark attack yesterday though. Pretty rare for us to have shark attacks. What's that? Where? Where? It was on the west side. Here's Brosnan, the actor. This is where he lives, by the way. He's a full-time resident here. Uh, Julia Roberts has a place down there too. She comes here quite often. She always gives me a call when she comes. Alright, we're gonna head back towards the mountains now. This mountain range I'm gonna head for on my front right side is called Namalukama. It's also known as a dragon because it's shaped like one. Because once the ridge line in front of us starting in the ocean, that is the tail of the dragon. The tail starts to curl upwards. Bumps a point, that's the shoulder. And then the back, comes back down, forms a saddle, shape of the dragon's neck, head, and mouth. Between the mouth and the tail, the middle ridge line is the arm. The dragon's laying down, curled up right in front of us. Do you guys know the name of this dragon? It's Puff. If you sing the song Puff, the magic dragon who lived by the sea at the land of Honolulu. That's the town of Honolulu actually believed to be the actual location that inspired that song. It was never proven, but the author of the song was a regular here. There used to be an old hippie community in this area known as Taylor Camp, run by Elizabeth Taylor's brother. Ran for about nine years before the Kauai County shut them down. 
In the town of Hanalei, we got all these crops that grow in water beds. They're known as taro. And that was the main food source for Hawaiians. Makes a food product known as poi. You guys tried poi yet? They didn't like it very much. You liked it? Most tourists don't. I grew up eating poi. A uh, version of your mashed potatoes I eat it all the time. The people there know they got it all. A simple life for me. Hello to Kauai, and the Leibai Bay. Wailua River Valley is where I used to play. Canyons of Waimea. Magic of the garden now is calling me back home. When I was young, not too smart, I left my home looking for a brand new start to find a place that's better still. Now I know, I know I never will. I was uh, actually pretty surprised the rain, the storm that we got yesterday. We were expecting to come out here today to see tons of waterfalls, but I guess because it, the land is so dry, it actually absorbed all that water and just sucked it right up. You can see this waterfall is still somewhat flowing right now. This is Namalokama, 2,400 feet high, but all of these here form waterfalls when it storms. I guess that storm kind of made the ground now saturated so now whenever we get a rainfall it'll start to pump these waterfalls up for us. Now in the Hanalei Valley, this is pretty much what most of the island is like. Just mountains, valleys, rivers, lush, green land. Only about 10% of the island you can access using a vehicle. The rest of the 90%, this is the only way you will be able to see the island. Unless you're an excellent hiker, of course. Right on the left side here, right, if you look good, huh, in these mountains, you see all these dead trees. It's actually like this all over the island. That's the evidence of the hurricanes that we've been through. Luckily, our last hurricane was 20 years ago. But the date of the hurricane was quite interesting. September 11th. You see all the dead trees there on the right. Although the winds in this hurricane sustained 145 miles an hour, when it hit the island, 
the wind gauge actually clocked in 227 miles an hour. That's the second highest recorded wind speed in the world. It's only four miles an hour short of breaking the world record. First winds that hit the island ripped the roof right off of our house, so we endured the whole hurricane. Hiding under a mattress with no roof over our head. This mountain range here. Behind these clouds, that's why Ali Ali. That was the main volcano that formed the island of Kauai, usually buried in clouds. Rains up there about 350 days a year, almost every day. Very common for us to get a good five inches of rainfall, 24 hours. That's more rain than places like Las Vegas gets in a whole year. gonna see if I can get you guys right into the crater of the mountain. The crater's not at the top like people imagine. Scientists said this island was almost 10,000 feet tall at one time. Today's height is 5,243 feet. It was sacred to the Hawaiians. They used to believe that their god lived at the top of the mountain bringing down water for them. So the royal family built an altar at the top and they hiked up here once a year to pay their respects to their god. We are about to enter the heart of the island, the actual crater of Hawaii.